Good afternoon, and an apology for me. It was a little bit late um, to, uh, we'll call to, to order uh, the commissioner's meeting Tuesday, January 30th, 2024. Um, and I would ask for a moment of silence and reflection, please. If you join me in standing with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Yes, we do have participants joining us by phone. Um, I do know one of them is Melissa Harpster, so she doesn't have to unmute. And there is a second participant joining us, if they could state their name, please. Helen Schmidt. Oh, good morning. Uh, good afternoon, Helen. Thank you. That is roll. Okay, thank you. Um, Hi, Melissa Harpster. Thanks, Melissa. Executive session announcement. Sure. The commissioners uh, and myself met on uh, Monday, January 29th, 2024 at 1030 a.m. on the purchase of property. Okay. Approval of the Board of Commissioners meeting minutes of 116, 118, 123, and 125. Mr. Webster, I will make a motion that we approve those minutes. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, public comment. Um, I'll call for public comment. <laughs> Number one, um, I missed a list of upcoming meetings on your agenda. I, I don't know if you folks uh, you know, miss them either. You might not, <laughs> but, it, but uh, it, my two cents is that it lets me and it lets the public know, know what other obligations you have for the rest of the week. And I recognize that I might be one of the minority in the public that, that consults these agendas on a regular basis. But I, I, think, I find them to be helpful, and I wish to would be still on. And secondly, when you get down to staff reports and special business on the prison, um, I was interested in any ideas on the cost of boiler repair or replacement since you're doing that uh, contract with Count Lucio to, to restore the heat of the prison since the prison was without heat last week. I, for a few days. I don't think they were completely without. Um, there was, I think there's two boilers. I think if I recall, there was one boiler working. I'm sorry, I'm not privy to that information. Yeah. I, I don't know. We can check on it, but I don't think it was. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm just looking for the for a cost. Or, uh, okay. Uh, All right. Any other public comments? Hearing none, commissioner's comment? I do not have. I don't have any content. I'm sorry. Commissioners are speechless today. Yeah, this is weird. Uh, if you'd run us through the consent agenda, please. Absolutely. Today's consent agenda is resolution number 50. It's the payment of three warrant lists as outlined in your agenda in item A. It's the ratification of two warrant lists outlined in item B. Ratification of total payroll in the check dated 126.24 in the total amount of $853,825.25. It's budget transfers in items D and E. Resignations, employments, and a status change in F, G, and H, respectively. Thank you. Staff reports and special business we have at the prison. Okay. We need to oh, vote on that. that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll make a motion that we approve the consent agenda. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks for keeping me straight. <laughs> now we'll go into staff reports and special business. And we have Warden Tate who may be able to entertain your questions uh, regarding the boiler. Warden Tate. Thank you. And so the first item we have on here is requesting approval of a third amendment to the inmate telephone contract between the County of Blair 
on behalf of the Blair County Prison and Cartel Incorporated to extend the expiration date to June 30th, 2029 to allow for the installation of additional technology intended to expand the inmate telephone, kiosk and tablet services on or before February 15th of 2024. And this is at no cost to the county. I do have one question and um, there was uh, some talk, I believe at prison board, um, the district attorney was concerned about um, <laughs> internet access issues. Um, I know that you have sent uh, to all the prison board members a response to that. Have you heard back um, from the district attorney? He just thanked me for sending the information. Okay. And I was going to bring that up also that we had a discussion at the prison board and if you guys don't feel comfortable doing this today, um, we can can always wait and check back in with them or whatever you're comfortable with. I believe it was just the district attorney that yes, um, had some concerns, valid concerns, yes, and sir. we said that we'd get back to him, but you did, correct? Yes, I sent him the same information. He sent me an email that just said thanks for Okay. Any comments or questions? All right. Um, our second request is approval of a service agreement. One, I'm sorry. I'm there's, sorry. There's one I didn't speak question. loud enough. Okay, I'm I sorry. do have a question, and I'm sure it's just because I'm not looking at the right place. But on the submission form, it says the resulting expiration would be June 30th of 2023, and I'm assuming that's not correct. That's right? not correct. It should be 2029 then. 29. That's what I thought I heard you <laughs> say. And I said, okay, thank you. Sorry about that. It's okay. It's correct on yes, here. Okay. Okay. So we're requesting approval of a service agreement between the County of Blair on behalf of Blair County Prison and Capricious Plumbing and Heating Incorporated to provide plumbing, heating, and drain cleaning services to the Blair County Prison on as a need as needed basis at the following rates uh, listed below for 2024. And I can speak to Kay's question. Um, this is not due to the boiler issues. Um, our last our last boiler issue should have been addressed today. We did have heat. You are correct. We had one boiler go down. Um, we had another boiler that was running a stage down. Um, we do have all that corrected. This agreement is actually to uh, maintain our plumbing drains. We have some issues. They don't pop up often, but when they do, they're big issues. Um, and some of the other local companies that we have contracted with don't have the equipment um, to get the full length of the drain that we need. Um, we had talked about having Capriuccio's on our maintenance agreement um, with Nicole um, at the beginning of the year and thought we could maybe do without it. Um, I, I learned about three weeks ago we cannot. Um, so that's why we're bringing this uh, to the board today. And I know it's been a, um, we've had some heartache with this. So I think yes, sir. it's, I think it's, you know, it's safe to say that the board appreciates you doing this. So any yes, comments or questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Here from social services, Trina. Good morning, or good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is saying good morning. And we're requesting approval of a cooperative agreement between the County of Blair and Blair Township. Um, this is to submit a competitive application on their behalf to DCED to administer a fiscal year 2023 competitive CDBG grant. Um, Blair Township is listed as um, one of our, on behalf of municipalities, they can't receive their CDBG uh, funds unless they go through the county. So this is our cooperative agreement to actually do a competitive. Um, there are two pots of money. The competitive is um, obviously competitive exactly what it sounds like um, statewide. Okay. Comments or questions? All right. Um, our second item is requesting the approval of the submission of the fiscal year 2023 applic uh, competitive application um, for CDBG funds on behalf of Blair Township for the construction of Reservoir Roads Sanitary Sewer Project Contract Area 2 in the amount of $3,805,316. Um, the full run of Reservoir Road is anticipated to cost $9.5 um, and the way that the engineer has laid out the sewer uh, line, I mean, we, let me back up. So we got involved with this back in 2019. Um, there are a lot of 
malfunctioning septics along Reservoir Road. It does come up periodically when we're just doing general rehab. Um, we got to do that dye test. The problem out there is if, first of all, um, parcels don't have a big enough parcel to do a online on, on lot septic and if they do nine times out of ten the soil suitability is not there for them so this has been in the works kind of since 2019 we actually surveyed worked with Blair Township and surveyed the full run about 200 houses along Reservoir Road and then the way the engineer designed it it's designed in three contract areas and those contract areas are split by the the three pump stations um, when we did the survey and realized that the full run of Reservoir Road didn't, didn't qualify, we identified contract area two was going to qualify. It has, must be at least 51%. The surveys were actually 58, but we have to adjust for those non-responders. So it did drop to 51.7. So it's not real competitive on, on that end of it, competitive-wise on the high benefit to low mod. However, um, the seriousness of the malfunctions out there, we already talked to DCD and they felt this was very competitive. Blair Township has actually secured funding um, from the um, finance, uh, the Center for Finance Agency there at DCD at the state and, and, and has able, been able to fund contract area one Contract area two will flow to one, so one, two is determined on one, so they have the funding secured for one. It is already um, designed, so that two shovel ready will rise it to the top. So we feel it's very competitive and, and it was worthwhile um, submitting the application on Blair Township's behalf. Okay, and we thank you for that. Comments yeah. or questions? No, I can, okay. I, I, this is important out there. Mm -hmm. it, it's amazing how many people have the problems with their septics, and of course the river goes through there, and there's just so many things that uh, yes. go wrong. And I'm glad mm -hmm. to see that they're doing this. And yes. making use of this will also clean up the water here. quality as well, I'm sure. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Department. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Good afternoon. I'm here for. Um, items three and four on the agenda. I'm here requesting approval of the submission of the corrected fiscal year 21-22 income and expense report to the Pennsylvania Department of Human Services. Comments or questions? Okay. Okay, and finally, um, I'm also requesting approval of the submission of the fiscal year 22-23 income and expense report to the Pennsylvania Department of Human Services. And again, any comments or questions on that? Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Department of Emergency Services. Hi, Sue. Good afternoon. afternoon. Um, I'm here to um, request approval of a five year maintenance agreement <coughs> between the County of Blair on behalf of the Department of Emergency Services and Compros Incorporated for continuance continued maintenance and monitoring of the EZNet communications equipment at the yearly rates listed below. And is it fair to say that is Compros the only company <coughs> around this area that provides this service? In this, in this area, yes. Yes, okay. All right. Any comments or questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Finance, Lindsay. Hello, I'm here on behalf of the Farmland Preservation Program. Um, we're requesting the approval and signature of the 2024 certification of county funds um, for the Farmland Preservation Program, with, which lists out our 2024 allocation along with the rollback interest from 2023. Any, Any comments or questions? All right, thank you. Oh, what do you need approval to? Oh, yeah, thank you for reminding me. She, yeah, she would appreciate approval today. It is due on 1.30. And I just, for the record, um, the allocation is, uh, the 2024 allocation is $130,000 as discussed in the 2024 budget. 
uh, discussions and the interest rollback penalty and interest is $18,616 for a total submission of $148,616. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. Court admin, Scott. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Requesting approval for of service agreement contract between the County of Blair and SBM Electronics for the continued maintenance of five Liberty Court reporting software mixers uh, for the 2024 year uh, in the amount of $995. Any comments or questions for Scott? Um, I just have a question. Um, it shows on the request to have this on the agenda that cost to the county this year is nine ninety five, and this isn't new, so we had a cost before. Do you know offhand what the prior cost has been or if it's increased or what's going on or if we were lucky and it's the same? I do not have the answer to that. Okay. I'm just trying to help out with the finances now. So. <laughs> we appreciate you. Sure we, can, we can have uh, Lindsay pull that information and get it to you after the meeting for right. Thursday's approval. Yeah. Thank you. I just yeah. always like to compare. That's sure. I'll be ready for you next time. Okay, <laughs> thank you. That's Thanks, great. Scott. We have Glenn here from Fort Roberdale, which we just visited. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm here requesting approval of a letter of support to include with Fort Roberdale's application to America 250 PA and infrastructure improvement and projects committee for legacy funding to celebrate the semi quincentennial. So this is a, a round two. We made it through round one. It's like a prize fight. We don't know how many rounds it's going to go. But. <laughs> Any Glenn. comments or questions for Glenn? This submission is uh, due on Thursday, but I think just to make sure that we have everything buttoned up, it would be appropriate to, uh, if you would take consideration of this today, that would be wonderful. Yes, I would, I would make the motion that we approve this request and and thanks to, to you and Emily and everybody for working so hard to get this put together so quickly. Thank, Thank you. you. <coughs> I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Glenn. Thank you. And thanks for your hospitality, by the way. <laughs> um, and then Nicole for the commissioners. Yes, I do have a request here on the agenda for approval of an engagement letter from Buchanan Ingersoll and Rooney, PC to provide legal services for Blair County and Prime Care in the lawsuit filed by Chrissy Friday. Um, we, what is happening is when the county is named in a lawsuit with Prime Care, we are able to put Prime Care on notice that they are to indemnify us. They, they do um, provide us legal services. Um, in this case, Buchanan Ingersoll would like that relationship spelled out, and you can see that through the letter. Um, because prime care is going to be the primary payer of legal fees, but if it would be if it would come back to the county was liable for something, prime care will not indemnify us on any um, decisions that might be come through the courts that the county would be responsible for paying. Um, I don't necessarily see um, in this case uh, it getting that far. Chrissy Friday is um, an employee of prime cares. She is suing for employment related issues. And therefore, I don't see any liability back to the county. But in case there um, is some sort of claim, um, this this agreement will spell out how that is handled. So I can't necessarily go on record saying that this is at no cost to the county, but it is um, presumed that Prime Care will cover all the legal fees associated with the defense of the claim, if that helps at all. Okay, is this something we need to vote on today? Or you do not. Okay. Nope, this can wait till Thursday. Right. Thank, you. Thank you. Any comments or questions for Nicole? Okay, this concludes the meeting for today. I'd like to thank everyone. Yeah, Ada, my page only has, yeah. oh, I don't I have am. a third page. There is page but there three, is. and it's another, I'm sorry, this is another item. You guys. Yeah, it's in our packet. Right yeah, it's not okay. on here, but it's in our packet. So if you so want to, this doesn't conclude it. the meeting. <laughs> don't don't the public have it. Did you print it or did? I got it. Okay. okay.
you do have a third page. Okay, so third page is not for us there. <laughs> it's true. We're really bad at that. It's just nothing important. Just you know a grant. What? That's all. No, you know what? Don't don't worry about it. Look at your employee newsletter that you said. <laughs> oh, you great. loved it, Amy. I appreciate it was that. Fun. You had great pictures of oh, you're so sweet. That made us all happy. And well, thank we you. We appreciate your work. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that too. Um, so the second and final item today for the commissioner's office is um, requesting approval to submit an application for the 2324. PCOR loss prevention grant program to include upgrading a um, new access control system for the ancillary or the satellite adult probation building in the total amount of $16,326 in installing a new access control system for the district attorney's office in the total amount of $6,270. Any questions for Allison? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for giving me page three because we have old business. Is there any old business? There is not. Okay. I believe that that concludes the meeting for today. Uh, so we'll adjourn. Thank you.